What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Crypto Logic channel. My name is John, and my mission here in this channel is to make crypto as logical as possible. So, you guys are rock with that. Please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and that notification bell to be notified whenever a new video drops. How are you guys doing? Happy Monday. I told you guys on Saturday, I did a Saturday video, one of the first Saturday videos on this channel, and I said I'm going to get back to doing my regularly scheduled videos. The last couple weeks have been intense, and I know I've been saying this over and over again. Yeah, they have been intense. We have we reached the number one spot in Sologenic. The XRP family has come out. I'm 5,000 followers away from 100K on TikTok. That's going to be huge. I'm probably going to do a big giveaway for that. Um, so you guys stay tuned. Join the CryptoLogic Community Discord and join the XRP family Discord. Um, that's where a lot of information is being spewed out there. Um, follow the CryptoLogic John and podcast tweets, uh, Twitter get all the latest tweets there and also follow the xrp family twitter as well um today's video to be honest it's not gonna be that long i'd say i'm gonna aim for anywhere between eight to ten minutes we'll see probably less i don't know won't be too much i'm gonna get right back to work on um the nft collection i'm working on the roadmap 2.0 working on utility for the, the the characters and working on the next couple drops here so very exciting news um and uh we're gonna get right into it and um basically yeah also i forgot to mention you guys uh before we get started um in the last video um we have a sponsorship with the channel called aura they are amazing i'm gonna do a dedicated video for that so i can give you guys more information and i'm gonna cut like a little uh you know three minute two minute clip and then i'm gonna put it in every video like in the middle or something like that or at the end or something or in the beginning or at the end so um, if you guys didn't see, check out the last video. We talked about Aura. There's a link in the description. You get a free trial. Try it out. Um, there's VPN, secure, uh, credit security, banking information. Um, really quick story. Over the weekend, I was trying to pull money out of my uh, bank, bank, right? And apparently, I was pulling over a certain limit on my debit card, and they said that I couldn't pull it out. So they thought it was fraud. So... They flagged my, my card as a fraud, so I had to call in the fraud department and say, hey, this is me. This is, I'm, not, I'm not getting hacked or anything. I'm not getting my money fun stolen. Aura sent me an email saying, like, hey, your your name, your account has been registered as um, there's, there's, there's potential fraud on your name through your bank. And they had the bank name and everything. So they got the information, too, which is insane. So it basically notified me, to like, hey, basically, go, hey, go, go straighten this out with this bank because they think that your account's being fraud. Not I'm doing fraud, but someone's frauding against me. Does that make sense? Like someone was trying to steal my money or steal my identity. So Aura had already like knew. Like, isn't that crazy? So that's why I'm telling you guys, try out the free trial. It's like 15 bucks a month if you guys want to stay. But it's click the link below, get the free trial, and you will be able to um, utilize all of its functionality. It's amazing. Um, password security, lock your credit, credit checks, um, checking on your, 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 your background information, all your history. And basically keeping it secure and protecting you. So in, in this new universe, uh, metaverse or, you know, universe that we're going into, that's all, you know, technologically advanced, right? So that's all I got to say about that. We're going to dive into the video. It's going to be a short one. And uh, yeah, here we go. Might not even have any timestamps. No need, right? It's so super short. So the crypto market today, we are sitting at $931 billion. We, we have still tumbled under a trillion. Um, this is not the true... Uh, bear market price. I think that the bear market price we're gonna see. I think sub eight hundred billion, maybe seven fifty. But um, Bitcoin is gonna be tump teetering between eighteen thousand and twenty one thousand here for the next couple of weeks, couple of months probably. Ethereum as well. XRP. We're gonna talk about XRP today. Um, and we're gonna go into that a little later. But the top ten still little doo doo in my opinion. I don't really like it. Crypto is crazy right now. Like, you really have to be in some fundamental projects right now to, to keep your sanity because it's so risky right now. You can make it. There's a lot of things that have been pumping, but you have to be very vigilant. Like, Quant obviously is on a pump, so you, a lot of people have bought under $100 or something like that. They've made a good amount of money. Same with XRP. If your dollar cost averaging in the $0.30 cent range, you were, are making money because I remember I said on TikTok, I was like, yo, XRP is up 50-something percent. Like, everyone's making money. It feels good, doesn't it? This guy left a comment saying, oh, I bought last year at 67 cents. It's not even back to where I bought it in here. I'm still losing money. I'm like, dude, if you if you bought one time, then of course you're not going to make any money. Like if you bought one time, like when before the bear market, like of course you're not making money. But if you're dollar cost averaging since then, you were buying a bulk 
uh, under 40 cents for like probably the last couple months, you'd be up right now. You would have doubled your money. You know what I'm saying? Like you would have took you would have been able to take your initial investment back of that dollar cost average and then had that money parked and waiting for another crash or something like that. But like people just buy one time and you just sit there and just look at it. I'm like, what are you doing? Like if you're going to invest, you want to keep buying unless you have a big bag. When you have a big bag, and then you just park it and you just leave it for the long term. Put it on your ledger and leave it long term. But I don't understand the whole that dynamic. It's like, dude, like just keep buying it if you want to have a chance for these pumps. If not, don't complain. Hold it and sit and wait, right? That's, that's all you can do. You don't be bashing other people. I'm not making any money. Well, you chose not to make money. <laughs> Like, that's the decision that you you chose. Like, if you didn't want to buy anything, how are you going to make money? You're going to sit there and wait for a couple of years, like, or a few months, whatever, right? So that was just kind of funny to me. And we're going to look at the crypto bubble. Look, Luna Classic is pumping. They're saying that there's going to be a dump, so be careful. Uh, it's up 39% in a day, 133% in a month. These are like, so this is meme coin territory now. Luna Classic, which is freaking hilarious, at one point in time was considered fundamental by a lot of people, even myself included. We all looked at Luna Classic and was like, oh, this is a fundamental token, top 10, not going anywhere. And now it's being cheated like a meme coin. These pumps are just like this, dude, there's no there's no reason for this token. Like, it's just crazy. It's just anyone who bought in a couple of hundred dollars, a couple thousand dollars, you made good money, you know. And uh, yeah, that's 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 crazy. Right. And the rest of the market is kind of stagnant right now. Um, XRP is losing momentum. We'll get into that a little bit. But the rest of the market is kind of lukewarm. But that's how it goes in crypto, especially during these times. So we're going to go dive into uh, Sologenic real quick. You know what's interesting? Um, I forgot to pull this up, you guys. So I'm going to pull this up for you guys. Hopefully I can find it in time. Um, Mr. David Schwartz is on Sologenic. So he tweeted this out today. He said, finally managed to learn my way around Sologenic's DEX system. Funny that I can't use Joel Katz as my short name because it's reserved. Winky face. So he tweeted this out. And then look at Mason. Mason says David using real Sologenic is a big W. So he's, he's you know he's tweeting, and then um, so he's gonna be on Sologenic. He he dropped a couple things on Sologenic. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Let me actually show, I'll show you guys right now. Hey, look at that. We're still number one. Let me refresh it. We're still number one. XRP family is still number one. Let's go. Shout out to V Runners. I bought one of these today. And shout out to X Zombie. Um, shout out to X Walker as well. I'm gonna be doing a, a podcast with the creator of X Walkers today in like the next hour. So this is gonna be exciting. We're gonna talk about a lot of things um, regarding. We have a collab coming as well. But shout out to actually family. I might not have the rain after a couple of days because V Runners is making a lot of steam. But um, as you can see, we were at over 8,000, but extra prices went down, so we're down to 7.7k in trading volume. Trying to get to that 10k. We have about 15 left. We have about 15 left, and we're gonna start moving on to the next drop. Oh, this is one of David Schwartz's uh, minted, minted projects. So we have about 15 left. So you guys get your hands on them before they sell out, right? But um, David Schwartz tweeted this out. He's on Sologenic. Uh, let me see if I can find his profile real quick for you guys. And uh, there it is, minted by Joel Katz. And he's he sold, um, I guess, these, right? <laughs> he's selling these. You know, it's pretty interesting. Um, but, yeah. And look, I, I sent this tweet out today, XRP family. I said, hey, David, check out the XRP family on Real Sogenic. We made this character in honor of you. We're the number one project on Sogenic right now. And we made this character based off of uh, David. Pretty cool, right? Hopefully he sees it. I don't know if he will. But um, this is awesome. He's he's pretty cool that it's on there. He's, like, asking about it. And he's on Sogenic now. Sogenic is, you know, we're tell I'm telling you, Sogenic is huge, right? And then what's, what's, a flex, what's a flex is that when you go on Sogenic, you can't avoid the number one pr project us so it's it's a pretty cool flex to see you know um uh, but yeah let's dive into the xrp momentum xrp drops five percent as momentum fades xrp is still on track to score its best month since august 2021 in spite of correction so i'm gonna read this part for you guys real quick it says um as reported by you today the token experienced a significant rally due to speculation surrounding the sec versus ripple case last week both parties recently filed motions for summary judgment Seeking an immediate ruling from the court, Ripple and the SEC argue that the judge has enough information to determine whether or not the defendants violated security laws with XRP sales. The XRP token rallied a whopping 57% within a single week, vastly outperforming the rest of the market. So basically what's going on is that they said, well, we can um, basically, you, got, you can basically rule 
and decide the fate of the lawsuit without having it to go to trial. That's basically where we're at right now. And that's why the uh, whales have been buying, which leads me into this. And I'll break this down for you guys. So this has been going on for the past uh, week or so. Whales are just scooping up XRP. So 270 million XRP just scooped up by whales just uh, yesterday, right? And then there was the, the thing that set it off was the 500 million XRP that was picked up. And then there was another 190 million. And now we got another 270 million. So this is so whales are picking up XRP, which is why the price is pumping. And obviously, a lot of people are taking profits right now. Obviously, there's going to be a correction. Um, but it's insane, you guys. So the largest ever buy was on the Bitso crypto market for 54 million XRP. Approximately $27 million worth of XRP coins are purchased by a whale all at once. So there's a lot of um, rumors and rumblings that this case is ending soon. We don't know when. Could be six months. Could be three months. Could be one month. Could be two weeks. Who knows, right? And everyone has agreed, though. This is all in agreement. And this is the last thing I'm going to say before we go to the conclusion and the video's done. So I said it was about 10 minutes. It'll be about a 12, 13-minute video. High volatility is expected after the judgment. So obviously, best-case scenario for xrp holders is the judge rules and she declares from the stand from from her desk xrp as it stands today is not a security whether or not the ones before were and ripple has to pay a fine whatever the case may be basically giving clarity to ripple xrp to move forward with no limitations from the SEC, from anybody freaking out that their security, whatever, they have full clarity. They can get listed, on, get relisted on all exchanges, and they're ready to go. And they don't have, there's nothing holding them back. There's no FUD. There's nothing negative. They can do all the partnerships, all the deals, all the banks can use them. They can fully be optimized to its full maximum capacity and potential. That is what's going to take XRP to a you know, $500 billion market cap, a trillion dollar market cap, whatever, because it has clarity and we, you can use us. We could be listed on every exchange and every exchange is going to want to list XRP. Why? Because it allows liquidity and money to be moved into their exchange and out all day, every day. Obviously it's a cheap price, but that means that these, these, these exchanges are going to be having floods of money coming in and usage basically upping their leverage on how much money they bring in every month. Because, for example, I needed to move some money from a, a wallet that's decentralized to Coinbase to my bank. And what did I use? USDC. You know what I was wishing for? I was wishing for XLM from Uphold. And I was like, oh, man, XLM doesn't let me send anything. Because XRP, I already knew XRP, Coinbase is not XRP right now. But I was like, come on, can we use XLM? Because it takes five seconds to me to move 500 bucks. I was using USDC. At one point in time, I had to wait 30 minutes to get my money from Uphold, from USDC to Coinbase. 30 minutes. And of course, that's way better. Way better than waiting an hour, waiting a day. Right, waiting three days or three business days, whatever, on the traditional banks. Okay, we've we've been spoiled, but that's you guys have to understand this this logic here. Okay, back then when we used to write letters, it would take weeks, if not days, for the damn bird to send a letter to your friend or to or whatever, or to someone to deliver it. They you know they had a running guy, they would deliver it. Or back in the, if you watch three hundred, they would send a letter or send a messenger. That guy would travel like three days, four days to deliver a message just to get killed because he delivered the message or send the message back and cut his arm off or something. Like that was how messages used to be sent. Then we had email and now we have text messages where it's it's the speed of light, right? So that's how money needs to move. Money needs to not be seven to 10 business days, three days to get your money. It needs to be instantaneous. 30 minutes is pretty damn good. 30 minutes is pretty damn good compared to a day, three days. But you know what else is better? What's better than 30 minutes? Five seconds, 10 seconds, just like Zelle, right? But obviously Zelle, there's a limit. There's a mediary, intermediary. They're watching. They're knowing what you're doing. They, you can send a certain amount. They can flag it. 
there's op- there's a potential of someone in the middle stopping what you're doing because you want to send ten thousand dollars to somebody. They can say, hey, whoa, 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 it was too much money. We got we got to analyze this. That could happen with crypto. It's no one's gonna stop you from doing what you want, sending money back and forth to your friend or whatever around the world. And some people in in, the Amer- in other countries can't use Zelle, right? It's only in America or whatever the case may be, right? For example, but that's why I'm saying. With XRP having full clarity, full usage, all exchanges are going to want to use it because why? You want to move some money quick to your bank, you're going to use XRP. You want to move $1,000, like, oh, man, I'm not using USDC. I'm going to convert it to XRP, bing, bing, send it to this, boom, boom, send it to me, boom, boom, convert to cash, goodbye. That whole process will probably take you three minutes. The longest part of that process is probably... Entering your authenticate authenticator uh, symbols from your authenticator app or using the face ID or whatever, putting your pin to send it. And then your settlement time is less than 10 seconds because you're, you're transferring your crypto to XRP. You transfer that. You swap that. You send it to Coinbase or whatever that supports XRP or mostly auctioning as well. And from XRP, you con- then you convert it to cash or whatever and you deposit it into your bank account. Like just like that, or you just convert it to USDC and a stable coin, use the debit card of the thing. But the matter is, XRP is going to be moving your money around. That's exactly how banks are going to utilize it. And that's why people need to understand that's where we're heading. We need this efficiency. And that's why they're saying everyone's in agreement that once this case is over, XRP is going to go through the roof, through the roof, and not look back, and not look back. So right here, so since the SC and Ripple submitted their summary judgment papers, there has been a dramatic increase in the whale stockpiling of XRP tokens. The current increase was caused by new court documents. So all I'm saying is that we're all in agreement that XRP is going to is gonna do some damage here in the next, who knows, six months or whatever, give or take, three to six months. And I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it, you guys. I hope you guys are too. But yeah, I know I said this was going to be a shorter video. It's been 17 minutes. Um, I mean, damn. I didn't think it was going to be that long. But I might have to put timestamps now, but I don't know. Because, I mean, I talked about one thing the whole time anyway. But yeah, you guys, anyone that watched this far, shout out to you. We are going to be doing a giveaway once we have 100,000 uh, followers on TikTok. So I'm going to do a big giveaway for you guys. And uh, yeah, from there, I hope to see you guys on the in the next video. Leave a comment what you guys think about XRP price going up. LCX and Quant are other ones I love. Alliance Block, KDA, etc. Flow, I love those. But yeah, you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you guys on Wednesday with the podcast with Ovi. Shout out to uh, X Walkers. Shout out to Solar Genetics. Shout out to Solar Genetics Society. Shout out to all the supporters of CryptoLogic and the XRP family. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.